from the Empire Magic Collection. This is collection number five. Four really fun tricks. Comes with everything you need except for a glass and a deck of cards. You paste, place this glass on a magic coaster. Shake the coaster and money appears inside. You can then take that quarter, ask your audience member to sign their name or initials on the coin so you know it's theirs. Then you're going to take that coin and place it in your fist. Then what you want to do is take the coin nest that comes with it and squeeze the coin into the box. And now if you have them open the box, they'll find their quarter or another box. If they open the box, they'll find their quarter or another box. <laughs> and if you open that box, you'll find another box. And finally, if you open the last box, they find their quarters with their initial on the face. That's the coin nest. Next is the card box. It's a lovely black box. You have your audience member select a card by saying stop. Wherever they say stop, they'll look at their card and remember what it is. Place it back into the deck. You listen to the deck to find out that their card was the king of spades. They'll tell you you're wrong, so you'll say no worries. I'll place it inside my card box. Riffle the cards over the top. Ask them what their card was. They'll say the seven of hearts. You open the box and show them their cards inside. That's the card box. Finally, it comes with a jumping, jumping gym rod. It has a diamond on each side, and because it has a diamond, all you have to do to attract other gems is to shake it. Then a ruby appears. If you want to make it appear on the other side, you just shake it, and it appears there. If you get good at it, you can make it appear on both ends, and then change it from a ruby to a sapphire. That's the Jumping Gem Rod, part of the Magic Empire Collection number five.